The rising cost of eggs has the government looking into new ways to deal with bird flu. Just days ago, the U.S. Agriculture Department gave conditional approval to a vaccine for chickens. As Derek James reports, that has the attention of Minnesota turkey farmers. Flocks are regularly tested for the H5N1 virus in labs like this one at the University of Minnesota. A positive test means a flock must be put down to stop the spread. The director of Minnesota turkey growers, Ashley Coles, says that can be devastating. The big bummer about uh, highly pathogenic avian influenza is that it spreads very fast within a barn. And so a bird may be asymptomatic, but um, a mere like six to 10 hours later can be symptomatic and sick. Minnesota is the number one producer of turkeys in the nation. Since 2022, the outbreak has killed nearly 9 million birds here alone. The virus is brought to farms by migrating wild ducks and geese. Farmers are using preventative measures. Restricted access to the farm, restricted access to the barn, and then cleaning and disinfecting of all things that go in and out of the barn. And they're looking for new ways to stop the spread, with decoys, even lasers. It's the same technology that airports use to keep birds off of runways. The Trump administration says a new plan to deal with avian flu will be out soon. Director of the National Economic Council, Kevin Hassett, suggests it will no longer require the euthanization of flocks infected with the virus. And so what we need to do is have better ways with biosecurity and medication and so on mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that the perimeter doesn't have to kill the chickens. We have a better, smarter perimeter. While talk about having a vaccine has hurdles, there's interest in the discussion. The fatigue of the industry and those who help respond is, is, is high. And I think, you know, as we continue to move into yet another year with this ongoing outbreak, um, I do think that there's there's just really a renewed effort or desire to to continue the conversation. Derek James, WCCO News. It's important to know that the current methods used to control bird flu means that the turkey and eggs that you eat are safe.